Hi, Hillary. Uh, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Great, great. So I'm just wondering, we, where are we in the process of replicating the artifacts that Jen and Jacob found? So the print is done now, and uh, what we're going to do is excavate them from the printer. Uh, so that just means we're going to uh, start a vacuum, remove all the excess powder, and then clean them up. See what the end result is. Exactly, okay, yes. Okay, very cool. So what I'm going to do first is open the lid, yeah. um, and then uh, next what I'll do is start the vacuum. Wow, that's a lot of extra powder in there. Yeah, uh, the powder has to be deposited all throughout the bed, really, okay. in layers. Um, but all the extra powder gets vacuumed up and is recycled through the machine for future prints. Oh, that's great. Okay, you can start seeing something coming up out of there. Yeah, so the edge of the shirt is just here. Okay. Uh, and then we've got a projectile point, which will be up here, and then the bone needle okay. is going to be right up here in the corner. All right, awesome. Yeah. So this is our shirt here. It's still covered uh, in powder, definitely. and that will get cleaned off just over here. Right. And this is the bone awl. Mm -hmm. This is the projectile point. This is the one that Jen found. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Well, what's the next step? Do we clean them up a little more? Yeah, so we're going to just move them over here into this chamber, and then we'll use an air gun on them to blow off the excess powder. Okay. Yeah. Great. It was really fun working here in the lab with Hillary, doing the 3D scanning, the printing, and the cleaning of the replicas. It's material culture that archaeologists can use for teaching or curating within their collections. The original artifacts can be repatriated back to First Nations communities or kept safe in storage places such as they have here at Sustainable Archaeology. This instrument, this technology, I'm sure we'll see plenty of new uses in the near future. Hillary was really informative and explained how the whole um, operation works. 3D printing is becoming more and more popular and it's uh, something that they're applying to almost everything. They're applying to the medical field, they're applying to construction, they're applying 3D printing to almost everything, including archaeology, which is really cool. So this right here is super glue. Yeah. So what we're going to do is uh, you can pick up one of the prints, just go ahead Jen and pick up whichever one and drop the shirt into the glue. Just throw it in the phone. Well, don't. <laughs> Please don't throw it. And then you'll see it'll start to bubble. Oh, oh weird. So that's the air that's inside leaving through the liquid. Oh. What we want to do is lock all that powder in place with the glue uh -huh. so that it doesn't uh, rub off. And okay. it's like an actual solid object. You'll see the pot shirts they have almost like a shine to them because yeah. of the glue. Once this sort of stops fizzing so much, we're gonna take it out and then you're gonna pat it down with some paper towel just so it has a more matte finish. Pull out the pot shirt just carefully with your other. And then, yeah, just give it a shake. Put that down on the paper towel. Now fold the paper towel over and just kind of gently blot. You can put it down on the toothpicks there and okay. uh, just let it dry. So just this one, yeah. And if you want, you can grab one too and drop it in. For learning purposes and bringing this into schools and educating kids, it's really important. Obviously, you don't want to be bringing in actual artifacts that are going to break. So to be able to bring in the exact replica of something that's been pulled out that's 2,000 years old, I just think it's really incredible and I love the fact that that's been implemented into archaeology. Hey, I, I really wouldn't know that this was not yeah. real. The dark colors sometimes uh -huh. can be really easy because there's not much uh, of a tint or a hue to yeah. it that isn't really black or gray. So it's easier for so you guys it's, it's to make the dark. So it's easy to recreate the dark colors. Do you ever get requests from like other organizations or other archaeology yeah. sites? Yeah, for sure. Uh, we've had uh, people who have requests. Uh, they want uh, specific items uh, printed so that they can repatriate things and okay. keep uh, the prints the as version keepsakes. Of it. Yeah. Yeah, and then we've had uh, people who just, they come in with that object and they say, this is special to me, I want to have this printed. Well, with that, because mm -hmm. this is pretty special because <laughs> I found it, do I actually get to keep it? Well, we were intending on giving you guys each a print, so you can oh, take really? one. Oh, that's yeah. awesome. Yeah. So two of the things that I found, I'm 